Hey, what's up? It's your boy Rio, and today I'm going to do a review about Dub Turbo versus BTV Solo. I'm just going to give you the ins and outs and which one may be better for you and which one may not be better for you. Okay, So um, let's just kind of go through it. I've kind of made a little chart so you guys can follow along with me here. Um, when we talk about the instrument sounds, you know, both of them have studio quality. I think this is just the standard of just about every software. They have studio quality sounds. Okay. The ease of use, both of them are pretty easy to use. You know, it's all about just tap, tapping a beat out on your keyboard, on your computer keyboard. That's all. That's pretty much how it works. The music sequencer, how it's set up. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is where it gets a little different. Okay. The turbo has a track style sequencer, which makes, basically means that you'll see every track that um, you, you, you're creating. So you'll see the drum track, you'll see the piano track, all while you are making the music. So you see it all there. And they also have a little feature where you can toggle and you can go to a drum style where there's just uh, eight pads that you see and you get to pick which sound you want to associate with each pad. So it's a drum style too also. Um, BTV Solo is strictly a drum style machine. And I like the way they got it set up because it kind of reminds me of like an NPC or something, the way it's set up. Um, and there's a lot of features with uh, BTV Solo. Like, for instance, you can actually edit the sound. So you can make the hit shorter. You can make it longer. You can uh, basically tweak it, filter it a little bit, you know, to give it just a little bit, a little bit of sound. Now, the sound quality is where they differ, too. Dub Turbo has a 16-bit sound quality. Basically, you can render your uh, beat down to an MP3 file, okay, which you, you lose a lot of quality. On the other hand, BTV Solo has 24-bit. Now, if you guys don't really understand what 24-bit and 16-bit is, basically, 24-bit has a lot more headroom, so the sound doesn't get distorted as fast. Now, you gotta you got to realize... If you're going to be making a beat and you're going to be saving it on some type of, uh, you know, thumb drive or something like that, and taking it in the studio and having them load it back up on Pro Tools or whatever it might be, you don't want to lose any sound quality at all. OK, so you want to have the highest sound quality if you're going to be moving it from machine to machine, because every time you mix it, every time you alter that sound, every time you record a voice onto it and render it down to another file file. You lose sound quality. That's the reason why 24 bit is so important. Okay, now the hardware capability. Now the hardware capability. Both of them, you can plug up a MIDI keyboard and just right out the gate, just play it right off of a MIDI keyboard. So if you have an M Audio keyboard laying around, you want to plug into your computer and you want to play it, play the piano um, sounds, play it like a piano sound. You can do that with both of these softwares. The one thing I really don't like, and this what comes to software stability. Dub Turbo crashes and freezes a lot. BTV Solo is pretty stable. And the reason why Dub Turbo uh, crashes a lot is because Dub Turbo is a program that was created through another program called Adobe Air. So basically, imagine this, okay? You have a, <clears throat> you basically have software running within a software. So for instance, you look at your phone, you got a, you got an Android app running a whole phone. Now imagine if you had to download another piece of software just to download another program. So it's like a program operating within a program. And I think that's the reason why it crashes and it freezes a lot. And I don't really like that because if you are making something and you're really into it and it crashes and freezes, then of course you're going to lose everything. Now VST capability. Now this is really important because this is where uh, you basically get to take uh, the software and link it up to uh, another piece of software like Cubase or like uh, uh, not Pro Tools doesn't do BTS, but another piece of software and you get to trigger the sounds from that software. Now both of these programs do that. Dub Turbo and BTV Solo do it. Um, another thing is the drum grid. A lot of guys like to use the drum grid. Drum grids just make it easier for you to program a beat really fast. And both of these programs have a drum grid. Now, um, my pick between both of these programs is, is all is BTV Solo. Hands down, I would say BTV Solo. BTV Solo is going to give you a lot more options when it comes to altering your sound. Okay. 
is also going to give you a lot more options when it comes to the sound quality. And it's very stable. Now I put a link right below this video. All you guys got to do is just click it. And I'm going to show you how to get some, some free bonuses with BTV Solo. All right. I want to thank you guys for listening in to my review. And uh, leave your comments below. And click the button below. I mean, click the link below. Peace.